start with the next point and that is about the types of catalysis. Now when you talk about types of catalysis, is basically related to the physical state. Okay, and on that basis, the very first one is called as homogeneous catalysis. Okay, what is it called as? Homogeneous catalysis. It's something but it's a reaction in which the reactants and the catalyst are in the same physical phase or physical state. That is called as nothing but homogeneous catalysis. Very simple, it is genus means phase and homo means same. So the reactant as well as the catalyst are going to be in the same physical phase. The examples which can be given is nothing but its oxidation of SO2 to SO3. Now SO2 is a gas. So obviously we are going to use a gas over here and that gas is going to be nothing but uh, nitric oxide gas which is going to be used as a catalyst. Other examples can be hydrogenation of alkenes. You know very well hydrogenation of alkenes gives you an alkane. Next is hydroformulation. of alkenes, it gives you an aldehyde, alright? So these are the examples of homogeneous catalysis, okay? Reactants, catalysts are in the same physical state and the examples of this, okay? Uh, once homogeneous is clear, then that is very easy for heterogeneous, okay? This concept is very easy for heterogeneous, okay? So heterogeneous catalysis. Hetero means you understand the meaning very well, it is different. So heterogeneous catalysis, we talk about a reaction where the reactants and the catalyst are in different physical state, a different physical phase. All right. So I can give you the same example and that is oxidation of SO2 to SO3 in presence of a platinum catalyst or we can also use a V2O5 in contact process, you already know it, okay? Next is we have polymerization of alkenes. And you know very well, alkene, ethylene, so it gives you polyethylene, okay, and the name of the catalyst is very famous, is Ziegler natto catalyst, you can also take an example of a Haber's process, you know very well, it's manufacture of ammonia, in presence of uh, finely divided ions, so it has to be in a solid state, and nitrogen and hydrogen, they are going to be in the gas phase, all right, SO2 is also in the gas phase, okay? So as a result of which, what we can say that this becomes the example of a heterogeneous catalysis, okay? So this is what it is, the types of catalysis, that is homogeneous as well as heterogeneous. When you use the word catalysis, so that means we are talking about what? Reactions, all right? And the catalyst which are going to be used over there for that particular reaction is called as a homogeneous catalyst or a heterogeneous catalyst. In this particular reaction, I will call NO as a homogeneous catalyst. Here, if I use the word Ziegler natto catalyst or if I use FE, then I will be calling it as heterogeneous catalyst. So, substance is catalyst and the reaction is catalysis. All right, so I guess you have understood the definition along with the example of homogeneous as well as heterogeneous catalysis. Now we'll be discussing point wise. What exactly is the differences between the homogeneous as well as heterogeneous catalysis? So we begin with homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis. I'll be just incorporating the points for you all. So, to begin with, the first point is the physical phase between the reactants and the catalyst is same. 
यहाँ पर आपको क्या लिखना है इट इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट डिफरेंट ओके दैट इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेकेंड पॉइंट इज दैट इज द हीट ट्रांसफर ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ द प्रोसेस जैसे मैंने आपको बोला था अबाउट कैटेटिक साइकिल इज क्वाइट ईजी है यहां पर इट इज डिफिकल्ट प्लीज बी वेरी क्लियर माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग कंपेरेटिव टर्म्स ओके यानी जब मैं डिफिकल्ट बोलता हूं दैट मीन्स इट डोंट टेक इट फॉर ग्रांटेड इट इज एज सच वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड इट इज इम्पॉसिबल एज कंपेयर टू होमोशीनस इट इज गोट बी डिफिकल्ट ओके दैट्स वॉट आई मीन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज डिफ्यूजिबिलिटी एबिलिटी टू पेनिट्रेट इन साइड अ सबस्ट्रेट इज गोट बी हाई ना यहां पर इज गोट बी कंपेरेटिवली वॉट लो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज the temperature conditions uh the temperature conditions we can see over here that is at low temperatures also the reaction is going to be possible okay whenever we go we to use homogeneous catalyst but then here comparatively once again i use the word comparative there are requirement of high temperatures for the execution of this reaction all right next one is we talk about some active sites active sites are uniformly distributed it is homogeneous so that's the reason we use this word it is uniformly distributed now here the active sites are basically centering around the surface of the solid catalyst Okay, next one is only one type of active catalyst are going to be present. So it results in the very smooth functioning of the reaction, and that's the reason we can also say that it results in more and more amount, same amount of the products. Obviously, when I talk about the same amount of the products, that means obviously I refer to as the desired product. But यहाँ पर ऐसा नहीं है, okay? More than one. active sites are there and as a result of which what happens is there are chances of formation of unwanted products okay next one is the stoichiometry of this is known in which proportion all right uh, as far as the composition of the catalyst is known the stoichiometry is known very well and as a result of which it can be prepared under reproducible conditions and a preparation is very easy because we know what it is being made up of and what is the proportion of those ingredients which is going to result in the formation of that particular catalyst lekin yahan par dosto the composition is not known well defined aisa bol sakta hu is not well defined i don't use the word not known it is not well defined okay yani mujhe malum to hai ki ye a b c hai lekin uska proportion exactly kitna hai okay that goes on changing because the activity over here of the catalyst is basically related to the method of preparation okay how it is exactly prepared aur uske hisab se the activity depends ओके okay, यानी मुझे मालूम है कि ए बी सी सब्सटेंस है लेकिन अगर उसका प्रोपोर्शन थोड़ा बहुत वेरी किया मैंने तो उसका एक्टिविटी भी वेरी करेगा और राइट सो दैट इज व्हाट इज कंपोजिशन इज नॉट वेल डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन ओके यानी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू क्वांटिटेटिव सेंस नॉट क्वालिटेटिव सेंस और राइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी दैट इज आई जस्ट यूज अ वर्ड थी एस ओके हीट बर्दाश्त करने की ताकत थोड़ी सी कम है किसके पास होमोजीनस के पास इसके पास थोड़ी ज्यादा है Okay, thermal stability is going to be what high. Next one is because they are in the same phase, and hence the separation is difficult. At the end of the reaction, you need to get the catalyst back. Yeah, come on, match it. Okay, sir. So separation is difficult. Yeah, but separation is quite easy as compared to the homogeneous catalyst. Okay, next part is reactivation is difficult. ओके okay, उसको मुझे रीएक्टिवेट करना है तो ये डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है ये इजी हो जाता है ओके okay, कई बार क्या होता है कि वी नीड टू एक्टिवेट इट ओके बिकॉज एक्टिवेशन से क्या हो जाता है कि इट इज हैविंग एन एबिलिटी टू मेक श्योर दैट द एनर्जी इज गोइंग टू बी वंस अगेन ट्रांसफर्ड इनटू द रिएक्टेंट्स इन व्हिच इट इज बीइंग एडेड सो दैट इट गेट्स इजीली कन्वर्टेड इनटू प्रोडक्ट्स 
Okay, so that reactivation process, okay, it becomes slightly difficult in case of the homogeneous uh, catalyst as compared to that of heterogeneous catalyst. Uh, recycling means what? Getting it back is becoming difficult. It can be related to this process because separation is going to be uh, difficult. So when you took over oh, for recycling and I want to use it back, okay, like it won't be exactly in the pure form which I used it in the beginning. Kuch na kuch usme thoda sa product reh gaya hoga ya thoda sa reactant jo unreacted hai, okay, wo reh reh gaya because hundred percent efficient reactions, okay, practically is slightly difficult. मैं ऐसा नहीं बोलता है डिज़ाइन पास है, लेकिन वो जरूर डिफिकल्ट में ये शब्द इस्तेमाल करता हूँ कि पूरा का पूरा रिएक्टेंट इस गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इनटू द प्रोडक्ट, ओके द चांसेस आर वेरी लेस प्रैक्टिकली एंड देवरफॉर बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ फिजिकल स्टेट ऑफ़ द रिएक्टेंट एंड द कैटलिस्ट स Okay, so the recycling is difficult. Here I will the recycling process is uh, quite easy. I mean, as compared to this, it's quite easy. All right. Next is, the mechanism is well known. It's well established. Okay, it is perfectly known. But as here I will say, it is not well defined. It all depends. Okay, because I have said that the composition depends on the Okay, its activity depends on the method of preparation. So, in that case, the mechanism may be a little bit of changes depending upon the activity of the catalyst. Alright, so we have first is physical phase, second one is heat transfer, third is diffusibility, fourth is temperature, fifth is an active site, sixth once again is an active site, seventh is all about stoichiometry, eighth is about thermal stability, ninth is about separation, tenth one is reactivation, eleventh is recycling, and the twelfth one is the mechanism is known, and here it is not known. So that means you can see now if you have a clear view of the comparison between the homogeneous and the heterogeneous catalysis, we say that there are some pros for homogeneous uh, and at the same time here there are some cons and here there are some pros whereas here there are some cons. Alright, so in this way it balances. So as I say that the most two important requirements, the ingredient of the catalyst is and that is one is effectiveness and the other one is selectivity. Okay, we don't have a universal catalyst. ओके यानी ऐसा नहीं होगा कभी भी कि केमिकल रिएक्शन कोई भी हो अगर किसी भी केमिकल रिएक्शन की गति को बढ़ाने का है तो ये फलाना फलाना कैटलिस्ट है उसी को यूज़ करो वो हमेशा बढ़ाएगा ऐसा नहीं होता है it all depends upon the nature of the reaction it all depends upon the nature of the conditions okay and accordingly then we are going to select okay what the catalyst is okay and that's the reason it's there in front of you that in some cases there are positivities of homogeneity okay and in some cases there is positivity of heterogeneity it is we who need to decide depending upon which particular chemical reaction we are going to carry out in the chemical laboratory Okay, I hope this part is very clear and this is what is the differences or comparison between homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis.